past is a gift. So, this is something that I've touched on in my book, but I don't think I've done a video on this topic of work yet. So, we left off in the previous video and we were talking about why it's so important to do a job or to do work that you enjoy doing. It makes you feel fulfilled or it makes you feel some satisfaction out of doing this job, okay? And it's not always about the money that comes out of it. You know, so many people will do a job, you know, where they're getting paid really good money, but they're miserable. They hate doing their job. So it is basically, you are selling your soul, you know? You're selling yourself. You're taking in this money, but you're miserable doing it. You're not happy. There's not one minute that you're actually enjoying what you're doing. And what I want you to really think about today is if it is work that you don't enjoy doing at all for whatever reason, whatever the work is not stimulating, it's boring, it's just something that you are not interested in, might be the most wonderful job, but you just have no interest in that job, okay? So it is so important that you look at changing to doing something. It can be simpler, can be for less money, can be anything else, anything. <laughs> you know, just recently we bumped into this couple that used to own a fish and chip shop, you know? And they used to work seven days a week. Ridiculous hours, right? They'd be up at six to get all five or whatever time they'd get up to get this business started in the morning so that when you know all the shops opened, they were ready to open. And they would finish at ridiculous hours, of course, because then they've got to clean it all up and okay. It was their own business, all right? Um, and they had it for over, I think it was 15 or 20 years. They had it for a long time. As far as we knew, they were there. And recently we bumped into them because they closed down that fish and chip shop, you know, that they had. And the wife was saying, oh, we should have done this such a long time ago, she said, because the new jobs that they had now, they were working for other people, but they were making more money between them. And they were working less hours. They actually had Sundays off, you know, half a Saturday, where the wife didn't work Saturdays at all, but the husband had half a Saturday, but they were making more money, you know? running that business that they were working ridiculous hours, you know, um, thinking that that was the way to make the money, you know, because it's their own business. But with your own business, you've also got overheads, you know, you've got to pay for where your business is, unless it's online and it's all on the internet and you don't actually have a shop, a physical shop that you're selling from. A business is very tricky, you know, it's not just the money coming in, there's a lot of money going out as well. So always look at, is it something that you're enjoying doing? Because the main reason for this video was if you're not enjoying it, no matter how much money you're making out of it, physically, in your health, you are damaging yourself inside. Because every minute that you're in tension, every minute that you're in that state of not being comfortable of not being happy doing this job and in your mind you're constantly thinking I hate this job I hate being here I hate the people around me I hate whatever it is okay all of that energy is going into your physical body all of it it creates tension it creates disease so it may not happen in 10 years it may not happen in 15 years but slowly it eats away at your health so love yourself just that little bit that you say to yourself, no, I'm not doing that anymore. If it's something that you're miserable doing, I'm not doing that anymore. I don't need to do that anymore. Life will support you. You know, you may get another job. It may be less money, completely different type of job. You work around it. You know, if you've got two cars at home, if you each need to have a car, come back, catch the train. Catch a bus, cut back on having one car. Having a car is expensive, you know, because you've got to, it's not just having the car. You've got to pay for registration, you've got to pay for insurance in case you have an accident. There's a lot of extra things that come in with having a car. It's not just buying the car outright, you know. So the plus side is, okay, now you're catching the train, you're catching the bus, more exercise. 
You're not just hopping into your car and going somewhere. You have to walk to the station or you have to walk to the bus stop. And then when you get to work, you have to walk to get to your job. You know, there's always all these positive things if you just look for them in everything. And you'll feel better, you'll feel lighter, you'll feel that you have more energy because you no longer have those thoughts that are bogging you down about how much you dislike this job or the work that you do, okay? For whatever reason. All right, my darlings. If it is because of the people around you, start to look at them, start to look at their pain. And instead of taking it on as a personal attack, you can start to feel empathy and you can start to feel compassion for who they are as human beings and where they're coming from. All right, my darlings? And if you are taking it on personally, getting upset why does that affect me I did you know as long as you did the best you could do at the time you did your best job okay we all make mistakes that's fine you don't need to beat yourself up over that either okay you made a mistake say you made a mistake apologize move on you learn so next time you don't make that mistake that's what mistakes are for it's never going to be perfect Oh, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.